Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we started doing is, is drawing pictures of division, uh, explaining and showing exactly what's happening. So in our second problem here, we're taking three and we're dividing it into five parts. So I'm going to start drawing that. I'm going to start with my three. Here's one, here's two, and then here's my three, or three whole. Now I'm going to divide it into five parts. Uh, now, in order for me to do that, what I'm, what I'm saying is I need uh, to split this into five different parts. So five different people, if you want, are going to get some part of this three. Now, for me to do this, the best thing for me to do is to actually split each of these into five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So I have five pieces there. Two, three, four, and I have five pieces here. Now, if I start distributing, uh, what I what I understand here, now I have a total of, I have five parts here, five parts here, five parts here. I have a total of 15 parts. Okay. Now, if I have 15 parts and I have a total of five <clears throat> uh, places they need to be distributed, well, I'm going to put three of them in each. Because my three, my three, my three, my three, my three, give me my 15. Now, let's think about this mathematically with fractions. Now, with fractions, what did I just do? Well, what I did was I split each of these into fifths. Because here's one fifth. Right? Here's a fifth, here's a fifth, here's a fifth, here's a fifth, here's a fifth. Because I took one whole, I split into five parts. Here's another fifth. And these are all fifths, too. And here's another set of fifths. One, two, three, four, five. Now, in uniform, what I, what I have now is a total of 15 fifths. Okay, and according to my problem here, I need to divide that by 5. So I took 3 whole, here's my 3 whole, I, div I changed the value, I didn't change the value, I'm sorry, I, I changed what it looks like, I changed 3, fi three whole into 15 fifths. Now, just on the si as a side note here, just to prove that 15 fifths is still 3 whole, here's my 15, <coughs> here's my 15 fifths, sorry. Here's my 15 fifths. If 15 divided by 5 do, do, does give me 3, so I'm right back where I started from. Okay? So, if my 15 fifths divided by 5 gives me 3 fifths. And in standard form, 3 fifths looks just like that. Okay? And that's how that works. So, um, how does it look visually? we we'll change the color a little bit here. Which means if I have 5 groups, 1, 2, 3, or five, because I need to split them into five groups. Each will get three of them. So three of them will go here. There's one, two, and that third one's over here. That goes that guy. Three of them go for this guy. One, two, three of those fifths are for this guy. And I should have three left. One, two, three, perfect. They go for this guy here. Okay, and that's how it works. So my final answer is three fifths. All right? And that's how it looks visually. Let me do another one. We're going to cruise down, and I want to show this one. We're going to take care of this one here. Using a picture, show how six people can share four sandwiches. All right, so let me draw my sandwiches. Four sandwiches. One, two, three. My third sandwich is my fourth sandwich right here. Okay. Um, now I need to split this by six people. My best way, quickest way to do this is to take each, each of the four sandwiches and actually cut them into six slices. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, which makes six pieces, which means each sandwich, that's my first sandwich, my second sandwich, my third sandwich, my fourth sandwich, each sandwich is split into sixths. Okay? Which means in this guy here, one, two, three, four, five, I have six sixths right here. And I have the same here. I have six sixths. I have six sixths. And I have six sixths. Okay? For a grand total, how many sixths do I have? Well, if I counted all of these, I have six six, six here, another six, another six, another six, which gives me a, 20, a total of 24 sixths. Okay? And I need to divide that by six people. If I do that, if I do that, I wind up with four sixths, which
which equals 4 sixths, or 2 thirds, which means, let me change color, everyone gets, every one of those six people will get four slices here, or four parts. One, two, three, four. There's one. One, two, three, four. There's the second person who gets to enjoy that. One, two, three, four. That person gets the rest of that sandwich. One, two, three, four. There we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. And one, two, three, four. There we go. Now I should have six parts here. All right. There's the first. There's the second. There's the third. There's the fourth. There's the fifth. And there is the sixth. Okay. And that's how that works. So write an equation and solve. So my equation, let's do that. So we have my, my four sandwiches divided by six people is going to equal 24 sixths divided by six is going to equal four sixths which equals four and six and I can reduce that to two thirds okay and uh, that's the deal okay thanks so much gang take care bye bye